Hi everyone and welcome to week two. Click on week two right here and we're going to review some of the things that we're going to be focusing on. In week two, the preparation items, we have the week two objectives. And in the objectives, we're going to be looking at the role of economic behavior of individuals, businesses, and governments. You're also going to be looking at the social costs and benefits of governments and how they can range and provide support. We're going to be reading chapters two and three this week. We have an e-activity that you can review. Here's the lecture one and two. I would highly recommend you review those and the week two scenario as well. Now the required work for this week you click on the assessment items for week two. You have the discussion number one. Now with the discussion question right here, some of the requirements that you need to focus on is if you have, if you post your first post by Wednesday, you will get five extra points. It's extra credit. So make sure to get your initial post in by Wednesday. You're, I'm looking for one peer response, which at least one paragraph in length. An initial post, and in, with your initial post, you should make sure to have an APA formatted in-text citation and reference to support your analysis. That would really help with your ability to do well. Now, so for this question, from the scenario, analyze the effects of uh, enforcing a price ceiling. When we look at a price ceiling, a price ceiling is the government mandated highest price that can be charged for a good. So now, if the government gets involved in markets, that will cause markets not to act as efficiently as they could. Now, from the scenario, assume that all paper was imported from Canada, major producer of wood. Assume the U.S. imposed a tariff. So again, the government gets involved, they impose a tariff. How would this change your answer if they impose a tariff, which restricts the amount uh, or which raises the price because of a tax that's placed on a good. Now, in discussion two, you're looking at government controls. And there's two government controls, minimum wage and rent controls. And when we look at minimum wage and, and rent controls, you want to look at the cost and benefits. I would list two costs and two benefits to thoroughly answer the question. What is your position on whether the government should regulate uh, prices that are in the market. So what is your position on that? Now, here's the week two quiz number one. You'll get one attempt and the questions are going to be mostly multiple choice and true false. If you have any questions on the course concepts, please let me know as I look forward to your effort this week.